Welcome to Tea Styles. I'm Teresa, and this is my monthly reset video. I am going to share with you what I did in November, my goals for November, and my goals that I have planned for December. Let's chat about it. Welcome to my channel. Again, I create videos that encourage you to live the abundant life that God has so graciously given to us. But I also, every month, give you a monthly reset video so that you can learn a little bit about me. Okay, so let's get into November. So, as usual, I have five categories of goal categories. They're faith, finance, self-care, and ministry, okay, which is you guys. So, actually, it's four categories. So, let's get, let's dive into faith for November. So, in November, I wanted to do a daily Phillips, study the First Thessalonians, and redo my faith journal. So, did I do those? Yes, y'all. So I read, um, I studied First Thessalonians, which was really good, really good um, study on this, the hope of the second coming and how we should uh, be thankful. And uh, we did a whole month of gratitude studying um, here on T's Thoughts, which has been great, I think. Um, I know it's been great and so that has been wonderful so we did first Thessalonians I, that was my personal study and then daily Phillips so let me tell you what the Lord did um, I was when I was saying about the daily Phillips is because um, I was trying to just retain strength because like I said in my um, November reset video by Wednesday, I am exhausted and I just don't want to do anything. And so I, I needed to break that cycle. And so the Lord actually put me on a 21 day consecration. All right. So I got set my timer to get up in the mornings and spend quality time with the Lord every morning. And then in the evening, I had my study time, I did my gratitude journal, and just had that time with God at a set time, right? And to break that cycle where I'm just so tired and not having that, that quality time with God, not um, being able to get things done. And so I have really really been blessed by it and I wanted to just start new routines and get and prepare myself um God is well really God put me on this path to prepare me for 2023 and so I am so thankful for these 21 days it has been phenomenal okay so that's where I've done with that um i did not redo my faith journal i'm gonna wait until the new year until i get into my new journal and so and then i'm going to reorganize it and get all the things done and make it nice and cute so once i get it done i will show it to you guys okay so finances was to pay off medical bills and stick to my food budget I have not paid off my medical bill. I went and I got all the, because from my surgery, I went and got a total of all the bills that I owe and I'm still working on how to pay all that off. So to be continued, but I did get a total of everything. And so I'm hoping to get that paid off before January. Um, stick to the food budget. I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did okay. I did bring my lunch a few times and then um, I didn't eat out as much. So I think that was good. But I did go a little bit over in my food budget. Okay, self care. So self care includes uh, wellness and my hobbies and things like that. So, and my hobbies is reading. So for wellness, um, journaling, and that's what I've done in my faith journal. I've done my gratitude journal. 
I did gratitude um, journaling and back to the gym. Okay, so I went to the gym once, but I started walking at lunchtime. So I'm going to give myself a half a check for <laughs> the gym. Daily take my vitamins and meds. I did that. I did skip a couple of days where I didn't take it, but I was way better than October. Uh, more daily than not. Drink water. Yes, I did that. Um, read two books, reading Memphis and the Book of Cold Cases. By the time this video airs, I would have read both of those books, okay? So I'm reading them both simultaneously right now. And normally I don't do that, but one's on my Kindle and one is a book book. And so at night I'm reading the Book of Cold Cases and then during the day when I take my lunch break or when I have time, I'm reading the um, book Memphis. So, but they'll be done. So I'm gonna give myself a check for those. Um, business slash ministry. Um, I am doing the Video Raking Academy with Think Media. So happy about that. Um, so I did join that and that has been great. And so um, I'm looking forward to um, finishing that class and hopefully we'll start um, implementing some of the things that I've learned and you guys will see a difference in our content. So stick tuned to that. Um, and Truth Corner Live, I am still trying to figure Truth Corner Live out. I think I'm going to wait until the new year to start. I'm not sure because I did that one and I haven't done one for November, but, but I'm recording this video a little bit early. So we may get one in before the end of the month. I'm not sure. So to be continued on that. And that's it. So those are the things that I did for November. Okay, so November was a good month. I really, really think I've done, I did really good for November, especially in my faith. The Lord is just doing great and mighty things and I am so thankful. So let's go to december so here are my december goals okay so for faith um i am starting this can you see it prayers and scripture it is a she reach truth um bible study so i am going to be starting this they have already actually finished it but i was studying first thessalonians for myself so i didn't join the she reach truth um group when they did it so i'm going to do it in december but i have the podcast so i can go back and listen to the podcast and still work on this study so i'm excited about it um in january for uh, T Stouts on the Truth Corner, we are going to be studying how to pray. And so, but I want to study this for my personal self and then teach you guys. So, this is where we're going with that. So, prayers in scripture. Okay. So, that is what I'm doing in faith. Um, finances. I'm hoping to get those bills paid off because I do not, do not want to take that into 2023. Do you hear me? I don't. <laughs> I do not like extra bills. So I'm um, hoping to get that medical bills paid off. And so that'll be my finance goal. And Christmas. So I got to get my babies. I actually started Christmas shopping early, which is a win-win. Um, but yeah, but finances, I'm hoping to get those medical bills paid off. Self-care, um, I'm going to continue journaling, um, walking. So here's the thing, y'all. It's dark when I get off work. I don't want to go to the gym when I get off because I drive about 50 minutes from my job to where I live. And by the time I get to my town, I don't want to go to the gym. So this is my plan. I am planning to three days a week go to the gym in the town that I work at, which is right down the street from my office, and do like 30 minute uh, 30 minute treadmill or the 30 minute because it's a planet fitness um that 30 minute um rotational thing that they have um 
long as I move my body for 30 minutes. And I'm going to try to do that three times a week. And then on Saturday mornings, I will go to my gym here at home and do like an hour or so full workout. Um, i got to do something or I will walk at my office because my office is pretty big and I can walk on the days that I don't go to the gym. I can walk during my lunch break. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. Um, at least until the, the time changes and I can, when I do get off, it's not dark. So I think that's what I'm going to do for the gym. Continue to take my vitamins, continue to take my meds, drink plenty of water. That's always going to be in my routine. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm going to do that. Also, what I'm going to read, y'all. So, I know I said <laughs> I wasn't going to read Colleen Hoover. But Instagram made me pick this book up again. One of my good friends on Instagram um, said, was talking about this book. And so she was, I was like, I don't know. And she was like, try this book. Start with this one. So I am going to read uh, It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I'm going to read it. I'm going to try her one more time. Everyone that I know that likes Colleen Hoover has said that Verity was weird. It was wild, okay? But this one is good. So I'm going to start here. We'll see if this is a win for me. We shall see. But I'm going to start here, okay? And I will let you know how this turns out, okay? So it is with us by Colleen Hoover. I'm going to take this one out. The other one I'm going to read is Behold the Dreamers. I have never, I actually picked this up at Barnes and Nobles. And um, I'm going to say her name and I hope I don't say it wrong. Mbolo Boo, Mbu, Mbolo Mbu. Okay, so I'm going to try this one. Um... It looked like it was good. I haven't heard, I haven't seen this anywhere, but uh, and I haven't even looked it up on Goodreads, so I'm not sure. But I saw it and picked it up, so I'm gonna do Behold the Dreamers. So those are my two books for December. I hope I can get two books done because December I got a lot to do because oh let, I ain't gonna spoil it. Let me go. So that's what I'm reading, and for tea thoughts. I am going to do Vlogmas, okay? So this is what I'm saying. I hope I get two books done because I am going to attempt to do Vlogmas, okay? I am going to um, post on Mondays as normal and on Wednesdays as normal. But in between, I'm going to vlog and try to put up um, my road to Christmas, okay? And we're going to talk about the true meaning of Christmas. I'm going to vlog it. We're going to talk about, um, talk about the beginning where um, Jesus was even mentioned. Not at, well, he was mentioned in Genesis, okay? Don't get it twisted. So, <laughs> we're going to talk about the birth of Jesus and him coming to, um, to the earth. And we're going to talk about the true meaning of Christmas. And hopefully, we're going to, not hopefully, but we're going to encourage um, each other on so that we can stay in the real joy of Christmas continue gratitude and get into the joy of Christmas it's not about gifts and things like that those things are nice but the real reason for Christmas is to celebrate this time and this season to celebrate Jesus okay and so we're going to talk about that and I'm going to vlog it um I've got a get a little creative with it but um, i think it's gonna be good so join me for vlogmas all right so that is our december my december goals what are your goals what are you planning and i, I need to start planning 2023 goals too so it's a lot to do so but it's fun i love doing it i think you should always god wants us to have a vision for our life have a vision for your life. Don't start thinking about New Year's resolutions and all that stuff like that. Sit down, sit before God and say, Lord, these are the areas that are important to me and that, sh that are important to you. Help me to line out my future and my goals. The, even the Bible tells us, God told us, he said, I have a plan for you in Jeremiah 29 and 11. 
I have a plan for you. My plan is good. It is not of evil to give you an expected end or a future and a hope. Okay? So, he told Habakkuk, write the vision. Make it plain. So, write the vision for your life. Prepare for 2023. Okay? Do it now. Don't wait till January, but start now. Okay? All right, guys. I hope that this video has encouraged your heart. If it has, hit that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Love to have you a part of T Stops. All right, guys. Until next time, be kind to yourself. Be kind to someone else and have a graceful day. I see you for Vlogmas. Bye. <laughs>